In 2016, there was a strong push from the community that we needed to make Maryborough an RV friendly town. We eventually got that through council and it was fantastic that we were able to open up a couple of sites that provided low cost and free camping options in Maryborough for RV travellers to come through the region. In front of the Maryborough Airport, Council created a parcel of land that we were able to tender out, which was then won by the Doon Villa Football Club. So this has become a low cost camping option for $10 per night per vehicle. The $10 fee that's paid by campers at the Doon Villa site goes towards the Doon Villa Football Club, which goes towards children playing sport. It's a win-win situation where people are able to travel to Maryborough, stay here and see what the region has to offer, as well as their funds going towards children playing sport and being active in a healthy cause. Uh, we've been operating for 14 months now, thanks to the Fraser Coast Regional Council's foresight in regards to putting this land up for tender um, as a low cost RV park. Doon Villa Football Club, who I'm a life member of, we've been lucky enough to uh, win the tender of the site. Um, the council of uh, been proactive in regards to getting grey nomads into town. They're cashed up and they're just looking for somewhere to part with their money basically. Um, as I said we've been open 14 months, we've had over 2,500 vans through. 92% uh, of those vans previously had driven past uh, due to no uh, low-cost self-contained RV park being available. So now two years after the change has been effected and this year being the first full peak season, we wanted to find out from the businesses themselves how this change has affected them. It's fantastic. We're having RV people come through the cafe every day. Um, they love the town. Um, they love the new military exhibition. Yes, yes. A lot of them we recommend to go on the mural trail, so they're going on that as well. Um, it's just great, Paul, honestly. Yeah. We've had lots of increase um, in customers coming in, um, especially from the RV um, type of people, um, which has been awesome. And you know, it's great for the community because they're spending their money here locally in Maribara, so it's amazing and we're loving it. It's great to see the travellers coming through Maribara and frequenting the club, uh, spending money in our local businesses and utilising our courtesy bus services. More walk through traffic and more people in the CBD. Last week I had about eight or nine come in for a chair massage. Well a lot of them are actually staying longer and some of them have even purchased homes here. A few of mine have actually mentioned that. Wow. Yeah, which is great to see, especially from, you know, travelling around and then they buy here and they're going to spend even more money in the town so that's really good. Yeah since the RVs have been here Paul they've been great they're um, great for the community we see a lot of them through here actually we do a lot of repairs and maintenance um, mate they're great people they they spend a lot of money locally and yeah I think it does great for the local community. It's a big boost for our economy and for our store and all the street and it's, yeah it's really good. It's been great for the town extra business for us and we get to meet a great variety of people travelling all around Australia and they get to share in our local culture. It's been a massive asset to our business here at Bob's Tyres. We, uh, we see a fair few of them come through on a weekly basis. Some of them come in, you know, for three, four, five thousand dollar jobs, whether it's bull bars or airbags or tyres. Um, we get a fair few of them come through for free pressure checks. Well mate, we get probably three, four customers a week from, from the RV parks, which is really good. A lot of them have said they've bypassed Maryborough, but now that we've got the free camping and the Dune Villa one for $10 a night, they all, they've all come in this year. Yeah. A huge amount of people. And it's been wonderful. The heritage walks have been 20 odd people every morning, which is a huge amount, increase anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's just been great. Now that the military trail has been opened, um, they're all asking about that as well. And we've had really good reports about the military trail. Well, we, we've been in this area for about three days. Um, we've been to the coffee clubs and the shops. Uh, I would estimate we've probably spent at least $100 a day between each couple. Uh, at the moment, um, my travelling companion's batteries failed in his motorhome 
and he's down getting $3,000 worth of batteries for it. We will buy at least $100 to $200 worth of fuel before we leave the, the town uh, and move further in, out into the shire. Each one of these RVs presents to me as a wallet on wheels. So the longer we get those people to stay here, the more money they are likely to spend. The statistics from the Dune Villa side alone are showing that anywhere upwards of about $9,000 per day are being spent throughout the Fraser Coast region. This is terrific to see and I can only look forward to more growth throughout this area, throughout the Fraser Coast. We look forward to seeing more RV travellers coming through the Fraser Coast. We thank them and welcome them to our region.